Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. All right, so in this video, we are going to set up our project. All right, but they are setting prerequisites for this course. Uh, of course, uh, you know, uh, because we are going to make use of a lot of things like, you know, we are going to write JavaScript code. We are going to write the JavaScript code uh, within Node.js, all right? And we are going to use the text editor, which is VS Code, right? And to speed up the overall development, you know, we are going to make use of some of the extensions available into VS uh, uh, Code, actually, to uh, generate those Mocha and Chai snippets for us, all right? So, if it's about uh, your JavaScript, then I've already created a playlist onto my channel and you can go and watch the series, right? Uh, as far as Node no, no is concerned, right? I'll, I'll try to, uh, you know, give you a brief of uh, all the commands that I'm going to use and uh, Mocha and Chai snippets, of course, I mean, they are pretty self-explanatory and we'll, we'll use these a lot. I'll, I'll just once mention you how to write those suite in test cases, but after that, I'll be using these snippets, right? Efficiency is important. All right, so here are the steps that we have to follow to create a project. So uh, briefly, what we are going to do is we are going to create a project. Inside that project, we are going to generate the package.json with the help of this uh, npm init y command, All right? Once that is done, we are going to install the project dependencies, which are Mocha and Chai. So we are going to install these, right? And then we are going to create a test folder and a source folder. In source folder, we are going to write, imagine our application code, all right? Then in the test folder, we are going to uh, write, you know, uh, uh, scripts which are going to validate our, uh, you know, application code. All right? So let's do that. And I'll just walk you through how you can install, uh, you know, Node.js, VS Code, and, and these things so let's do that so what you have to do is open your browser and type in node.js and then it will take you to this page and you can download node from here for visual studio code type in download visual studio code and then depending upon your machine uh, and operating system please pick your version once this is done all right so next thing that we are going to do is we are going to launch a terminal all right and here we are going to create a folder all right in which all our project files would be uh, residing all right so let's give it a name and we are going to say mocha demo proj okay so let's create this directory change directory move into that directory done next thing npm init hyphen y so this is the command what you are saying is hey npm initialize a project for me and i'm fine with all the default configuration that's why you are passing in this flag hyphen y now right so hit this the project would be created name of the project would be name of the folder all right so because you are going uh, with the default uh, settings all right so now you could see that inside this it's saying that road to this right so a package.json is created and inside that you have all these key value pairs right this is your what this is your json uh, this is your javascript object all right so next what you have to do you have to install the dependencies what's the command npm you can write i or you can use install i'll prefer i so you're going to say npm i and mocha space Chai. This way you can install multiple dependency in a single command. Hit enter. This is going to take some time because it is going to download from the internet. So make sure that you have internet connectivity when you are downloading this for the first time. You can also install it globally. So you can use a flag after this uh, npm i mocha chai. You can say hyphen g. Then that thing would be installed globally onto your system. All right. So we are fine with the uh, having these within this project only. All right, so now we are done with this. What's next? So now we have to launch our Visual Studio Code. So for that, 
type this command code space dot hit enter great so now your visual studio code is launched all right so what do we have to do so we have to open this package.json and make a slight change in here because we don't want to type big command when we are running our test cases in the terminal all right so we are simply going to say mocha all right done save it every time you make a change make sure that you save your changes all right so package.json is done what's next we said all our test cases resides inside test that's what mocha assumes so let's help mocha let's create this folder test and we also said our source code would be inside the source folder all right so inside the source folder let us create a file let's give it a name app.js great and inside test let's create a file app.spec.js all right we use spec into bdd all right so now our project setup is done in the next video we are going to start writing synchronous test cases all right thank you so much